here's a simple mobility routine you can do for the hips to help get yourself open, you know, ready for big lifts like a squat or a deadlift. So the first one is just starting off, just squatting down. Get nice and deep, as low as you can. Hold for a few seconds, come back up. Make sure you relax, focus on breathing. Nice and slow. And get one more in. Now, I'll go back down and squat, and this time, I'll change up a few things. What I'll do is I'll keep one foot flat, and I'm gonna bring the other one to the side, just kind of push that hip out, I need to take my hand, and push it as I want, bring the other one down. Same thing, let that hip open some, and then I'm just gonna drop that knee down. Both sides, and then come back up. So just go into your squat, open those hips. Like I said, you add push if you want. Foot stays flat on the one while the other, the other one comes up. Right, we're just kind of opening those hips there, and then dropping knee. And sit down and you can take your time in each one doesn't matter how long you hold for you gotta hold longer one area than the other that's completely fine right I would say at least at least like two or three seconds each time you're holding and now still staying with a squat sequence here so sitting down as low as you can and this time, you kind of block your your knee with the elbow, hand flat. And the other one, come up straight. Try and keep a straight back, all the way in line, up while you keep that hand planted. So then I would block the knee with my other elbow, plant that hand, raise that arm up. You know, feel that stretch all the way down. Try and keep completely straight. And come back up, the same thing. Go back down, lock that knee, hand down, arm up. I try and loosen that back up at the same time. All right, so I block the elbow. Plant the hand up, hold in. Take those breaths. Try and relax and then move, move it, come up. All right, now from there, good old lunge with a twist. So I take my step, drop my hands down, and same thing, I can push that knee out. I can be able to take my hand, add a little pressure. I'll then drop down to my elbows. I can hold here for a couple. Come up. Make that twist. Then I switch. Go to the other side. Hands down. Push that knee out. Like I said, maybe add a little more to it. Find my hand if needed. Drop the elbows. Come up. Make that twist. And no need to go back behind, just nice and straight. So if bones were stacked up on each other. Hands. Push the hip out. Down the elbows. Come up, make that twist. Knee out, down the elbows, come up, make that twist. As, as far as how many you want to do, completely 
completely up to, up to you is how many you want to do do for each each one as far as that you know I say the rule of thumb is keep going until until you feel good until you feel loose right I mean more is not gonna hurt you as far as the mobility the better oh so Cossacks right right here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go on one side nice wide step Foot stays flat here. I'm trying to get as low as I can. Feet come off, right? I can use my hands to assist moving from side to side. If my foot comes, heel comes up, and I'm going down, that's where I would stop. I would just hold there. So go down as low as what you can. And going back and forth. Said, use the hands assist if you need it. Otherwise, you know, if you feel like you don't need it, then don't worry about it. All right, one more thing we can do here is just going from a down dog into an up dog. So as I'm here, push those hips up nice and high. Try to keep the back straight from basically fingertips all the way to my tailbone. Right, that's the goal. So if the knee's gonna bend for me to do that, and that's fine, right? And then I go into an up dog. Make sure your shoulders aren't shrugging up. And down, looking up towards that ceiling. Hold for a few seconds each way. And you'll notice the more you do this, the more you'll be able to get those heels closer to the ground and your flexibility will improve. So there you go. There's basically it's a quick a little more mobil mobility routine you can do to help open your hips, right? Doesn't matter how many reps you do of each one. But add that into your warm up, and I guarantee T you'll feel ready to go for their squats and deadlifts.